Hi everyone, it's Jean from Inkyall Studio. Uh, I have three Christmas daily journals with little golden books I have created for Christmas. And uh, this, these are going to be the flip through for my Etsy shop. And I will get started now. I've listed down below where each of these books begin at what minute marker in case you wanted to advance to, you know, this one or this one. So uh, we're going to start with Christmas tree that grew. So it has a little um, Christmas trees here on the cloth cover. A little bit of zigzag um, trim going down the side. And we'll get started on the inside. So this is a, a nice little journal with a lot of this little teal tur turquoise. I guess you would call it uh, inside here. Here's a vellum pocket with a couple of uh, journal tags there. It's a cute little story, essentially about neighbors helping out neighbors. I've got Christmas um, music in here and different. Uh, these are from Victoria Designs, this paper, from a craft, Christmas craft magazine. And here's the middle of the first signature. And here are some handmade cards. Uh, there are three signatures in here. And each one has about 30 pages front and back. So essentially, uh, one journal would probably last you three seasons if you did a page every day during the month of December. So flip out there. inside here. It's a little bit of a retro uh, Christmas taste to it. There's a little file folder. It's blank on the inside. Click there on the page. It's got some kitties in it. Mm -hmm. There's a large pocket that you could put um, more memorabilia in. Here are journaling tags that Tim Holtz die cut. So that's the first signature. There's a cloth fabric flip. Did some stamping in these. There's another handmade card. Boxes down there. So cute. Reindeer. Christmas um, cookie recipes, another vellum pocket, There's a few more journaling cards in there, Christmas music, deck the halls, Some Christmas stockings, another um, handmade card. middle of this signature. There's a little puppy. So this is a fabric uh, belly band. Actually it's mounted on cardstock so it's it's stiff but it's covered with fabric there. Plenty of places for writing or posting memorabilia or um, photographs. Some more journaling card stuff in this pocket. And a little envelope here with uh, a little tiny booklet on the end, or yeah, a little booklet on the inside. There we go. Card. 
tuck spot. And that's the second signature. And then the last signature. Let's see here. Here is a envelope. A little card on the inside. And I've sewn around some of the cards here. A little charm on this envelope. journaling card and the side here birds there's a lot of birds in this story too so you got you got all the the three the three pets so cats dogs and birds represented in here and here is more cards here's even how to feed the uh, birds in the winter because that's what feed they end up doing. This family ends up feeding the birds. Another Christmas uh, recipe card. Yeah, it's a cute little story. The tree uh, begins to grow on the first floor, and then they have to make holes in the floor to the next apartment, and then it grows up to the next apartment. So you got all these people enjoying the Christmas tree. That's a cute story. And there's some more cards in the middle of the signature. Mm -hmm. Cute. There's a needlepoint, a needlepoint book, some Christmas needlepoint there. And there, see, it started on this floor and it grew all the way up. And in the end, oh, here's another. This has got a little secret place there for that little card. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I'll put, oh, the cards, yeah, I'll put in later. And here is. More journaling cards here with a flip out. And I have a tutorial on taking old Christmas cards and making them into these really cute little, um, there's like a pocket here for storage. There's some notes here you can take. Here is a, this is getting caught on something. Here is a tag inside here. And in the back there are some more pockets here. So it's this little cute thing to do with old Christmas cards. I think if you look at my tutorials you'll find one. And here we go. And they're giving, they're feeding the birds. So that is the first one called the Christmas tree that grew. So now we'll move on to the second one. This one is called Jingle Bells, and this has sort of a rustic cabin-like theme uh, to it. And it has a plaid on the back with some wide red rickrack trim down both sides. And this one involves uh, a lot of fun little animals and Santa on a sleigh ride. It has a, a hitch post and elastic closure. And there should be, you know, plenty of room for you to expand on this if you would like. And uh, I'm including a, a little library card pocket if you want to put that into your journal or not. And so we'll just get started on here. So this has a copyright of 1964. Here are some cookie recipes. Yeah, and it has the song of Jingle Bells. There's a, a little, um, wrapping cards. Yeah, these are really well made. There we go. And a little um, bird here, a little booklet. A little bird. So I tried to include um, woodland things. Used plaid, wood, 
This is from Victoria Designs as well. So the whole book is in here. There's uh, some pretty decorations. A vellum pocket. In the middle of the first signature. Here is a fabric flip. Plenty of room for writing and for adding your own memorabilia. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, this one's really tickled me. Here's a recipe card. There's another um, journal card inside here. Children on a sleigh ride. That's a few recipes. <laughs> and the cardinals. And this is the second signature. <clears throat> this is a fabric belly band and it's been mounted in cardstock. <clears throat> I'm do some stamping in here. There's a drawing card there. Got jingle bells. And just like the other one, there's uh, about 30, well, there are at least 30 pages on both sides in each signature. So it could last you for three years if you use one page a day but you may not want to you may want to use more pages so it's a little vellum pocket there and it's in the middle of the signature and a couple of cute oh it makes me hungry a couple of cute little journaling cards More plaid. Just trying to get the more elastic things, more uh, cookie recipes. Here's some little bag with another journey card. And then this here is an envelope. Here's your envelope. Okay. Own journal card on the inside. A lot of cute little details are in this journal. I love this picture. This is so cute. <laughs> Two stain paper in here. That's cute. There's a little Scotty Togs. <laughs> so sweet. More of a buffalo plaid. And here's one of those cards that have been altered. And that's in my tutorial. In my tutorial list. Okay, well, I'll put that in later. There's a couple more journaling cards with violets in them. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Ah, here's another one. Another altered. Back. Big old feasty dinner. And here's some two cloth pockets that I have put in the side page here. Kind of 
kind of fun. <laughs> oh, dear. There's another card here. one here. This is 12 Days of Christmas. Another hitch post closure. Lots of room for added things you want to put in there. This has, uh, it's kind of sparkly. I don't know how well it sparkles in the camera, but it's uh, snowflakes. This has got a lot of pastels in it. And this is the 12 Days of Christmas, the song. And there's a library card if you choose to use it. You can put that on the inside if you'd like. And this is a 1983 book. I've done some stamping in here with some uh, snowflakes. There is a journaling card inside this bag. Let's see the back there. These are just very um, clean and uh, simple drawings. Christmas magazine. Belly band. The 12 Days of Christmas song. Well, what do you know? There's another handmade tag. So I've kind of kept it light and airy. That's really pretty paper. There's the middle of this. I believe this is Artie Mays. Here is uh, a little booklet. Stuck in the side with this pocket. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I think I had the same expression if I got five golden rings at one time. There is some more cards in this pocket. Oh, this is a uh, large pocket for um, putting you know, photos or storage or whatever you want to put in there. There's another tag inside here. I do have some tea stained paper in here, but it's uh, lightly stained. This is the second signature in here. Inside here is another card I've sewn around. Oh, that's so cute there. It's kind of Victorian as well. I kind of tried to put in uh, Victorian images in here along with it. Don't know if I've mentioned it for this one. I've mentioned it so many times, but there are. <clears throat> three signatures, and each signature has at least 30 pages front and back. So it could realistically last you three years, three seasons, if you want it to. You don't have to, of course. I thought these looked like a little girl and boy inside the story. 
I made dolls like that at one time. There's more of uh, that song, 12 Days of Christmas. Another uh, journaling uh, opportunity here. Cookie recipes. Here's the middle of this signature. This is Artie Mays. Little journaling tag here. Another um, it's actually a little Christmas card. Blank one that you can uh, write in. Well, I gotta get the right angle. There we go. Music page there. Lots of snow. There are those are altered Christmas cards. Notes over there. There's a journaling card up here. Some more tags or cards in the back and a place to um, put your own memorabilia in right there. I thought the little drummers because this isn't one of the days they get so many drummers pretty sure. And there's a vellum pocket. And that's the second signature, and so we come to the last signature. This is done. Kind of like the way it looks in there. Here's some more Christmas recipes for cookies. Here is a clip fabric flip. Another journey card. Oh, Santa. card inside that pocket. Nice food size pocket. There's a little booklet stuck in that vellum pocket. There's the drummers. We come to the end of that one. So those are the three December dailies that I have made. I hope that um, this gave you some ideas maybe for your December daily. So thank you so much for viewing and we'll talk to you later. Bye!